to you. That's more like it. Now, I think it's safe to assume that the gamers are sitting on the edge of their gaming chairs right now, glued to their screen and twitching with excitement for our first big Warner Brothers games announcement. So, to tell us more about it, please welcome Billy Batson's alter ego, Zachary Levi. Hello, interwebs, it's Zachary Levi, Wait. your favorite household what? Shazam. Uh, many of you guys know I like me some video games. It's I'm not gonna be a Shazam game, right? Which means I'm very excited to be revealing a brand new video game from Warner Brothers Games. Uh, uh, we're gonna meet the creative team in just a moment, but first, some brand spanking new footage from said game. We're about, we're about to play it right oh, now. Oh, snap. All of us have okay. never seen it, so we're gonna experience this together. Let's take a look. So that's what I want to see. I want to see some gameplay for it. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. The story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke. Everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. The emergency vehicle that the portion of the building has actually collapsed. International news an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. You're now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is. <laughs> Graphically, it looks really good. I'm sorry, did someone just scan their thumb on their screen? That's not how that works. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. Wait, is this a Jason Todd game? This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. Oh, so you know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. Is this a battle for the Capital yeah, game? GCPD. Never trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated. But it has the gear you need. Damien? You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. So we're getting Batgirl, Damien, Jason, Nightwing. Is it just battle for the cowl? Oh, wait, D are they all teaming up? Is it that kind of... I wonder if you'll get to, like, play as all of them, like, at the same time and switch between characters and do, like, crazy combos and stuff. Let's see some gameplay. Oh gosh, she, that's a dead guy. So she's using Tonfa in this game. That's interesting. What the hell is this? Some of these combo things that they're doing are like more animated than the Arkham games were. Like they're a little bit more cartoony, which is interesting. They're kind of going a little over the top with it. Wait, hold up, who's turning invisible? Like I, like I said, this is getting like really kind of crazy with it. Okay, gliding. Uh, I'm glad to see that. Whoa, what? D why are people teleporting in my Batman game? Batman was like, some of the technology is a little outdated. Jason Todd teleports. Whoa, hold up. Are we getting vehicles that don't suck? That'd be great. Okay, so it is going to be called, like, Gotham Knights. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. No one talks about them. Oh, so it is like a Court of the Owls thing, too. Not a whisper word is said. Thank you. 
Are they gonna reveal that like Bruce Wayne's not dead? He's just inside this little like chamber thing. Or something? I don't know. I I'm curious if Batman's gonna actually be dead or not, but I'm interested. That definitely looks cool. I'm Patrick Redding. I'm Phil Matsu. We're both from Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and we're both thrilled to finally be able to show you Gotham Knights. You may be wondering why we chose to tell this story and focus on these characters. We wanted to shake up the status quo of Gotham City. We wanted to see what happens when you take away the safety of Batman's presence and then find out what happens. What happens when these heroes, the Bat Family, Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, and Robin, have to step up and take on the role of new protectors of Gotham. What's really exciting about Gotham Knights is that you, the player, will be able to grow these characters how you see fit. You get to see how you would step up and become Gotham's protector. You're not trying to become the new Batman. You're becoming your own badass superhero. So it's not Battle for the Count. We brought gameplay footage. This is captured in engine. From They're not necessarily build. trying to and become the new Batman. I can't wait for you to see this. Take a look. Okay, gameplay footage. So this is what I want to see. This is what I'm hyped for. I wonder how good it'll look compared to the trailer. Yeah, how many villains did we see? I remember seeing Mr. Freeze from the trailer and seeing Horta Owls. But I don't remember what other villains I saw. Causing this is localized at the top. Definitely freezes handwork. Okay. Right. So we're getting to see some bat bike action. I'm glad that there are cars driving through the city. Is this gonna be the first open world Batman game where there like is like a live city? Like there are people actually walking around. It's not like Gotham at Christmas where there's no one in the streets. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it was weird that she ditched the bike like that. Can you do a fly around? The bike was moving so fast, wouldn't it like crash into something? That's cool set design. What's that teleportation stuff they're doing? If he wants a fight, he'll get it. What? Did he teleport and grab a guy and then knock him out? Is this a multiplayer game? Like, is Robin being controlled by the computer or by, like, another person? Because that's wild, too. I noticed these enemies have levels, almost like it's like a Assassin's Creed game. Like, it looks like these are, like, level 10 enemies. Ooh, I like that she was able to run on the truck. What's she hitting him with? It reminds me of that, like, bolus kind of thing. Well, I think she's using the tomfa, it's just the way she was spinning it. No, I think it separates. I think there's like a cord in the middle or something. Like it's nunchuck tomfas. I do like this uh, Batgirl design. The hair looks kind of weird. It looks kind of clumpy. This doesn't look up to code. Jason Todd with a cape looks weird. Or is that Robin? The helmet's throwing me. I keep wanting to call him Jason, but I guess it's Robin who's doing all the teleporting stuff. I wonder if there are like different gear pieces in this. I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Like if you're able to like customize the look. I'm also curious if the gear changes your like character abilities. See, with that split screen transition they just did. 
are they switching to another player who is playing as Robin? Or was it like in the game now you are controlling Rob? See, they're showing them doing stuff at the same time. Is this like a multiplayer co-op situation? Or is it you are switching back and forth and when you're not playing as one character, like the computer is playing as that character? That's the question. Combat looks good. I mean, like, I, I don't really want the combat to be that different from Arkham. The only thing I want different is for them to, like, introduce new stuff you couldn't do before. But I still want the old stuff to still be there. So I see she's dodging. Have we seen her counter anybody yet? Also, what the fuck? Yeah, like, the gadgets are doing some really crazy stuff in this one. Oh, are they gonna do a combo thing? That was cool. I like that. I still don't get if this is co-op or multi. I mean, I don't know if this is co-op or if it's just the computer controlling the other guy. That was kind of weird. It didn't seem like the door was budging. It just went from she can't get it to she instantly gets it. But again, this is pre-alpha, so I mean, I imagine certain things like that will be changed. These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead the breeze. Oh, have we seen detective mode yet? Um, because I've heard some people really love detective mode, some people have their gripes with it. I'm curious if they've changed detective mode at all. When she was like, these pipes on the floor, I was curious to see if it was going to change up anything. Dead, and the still we need to stop now, when she moved now. through that little, like, crevice where she had to slowly scoot over, I've heard that's a trick that game designers use for you to have, like, a loading screen without a loading screen, where they, like, force a slowdown in the action. I've heard on next generation hardware, you don't have to do stuff like that. So it's interesting to see that. Field is rushing in place. It's charging. So are we going to get to see a boss fight? Now, Mr. Freeze. When this disruptor goes off, trust me. What's the best boss fight in Arkham City? So, if they're about to show a Mr. Freeze boss fight, I have high expectations. Like they better show out. See about that. Okay. Right now, they're just kind of hitting. Him. Seems like it's playing a lot like an action RPG. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Because it almost seems like they're doing like a... Marvel Ultimate Alliance kind of thing. With like some Arkham flavor in the combat. But it still seems a little bit more over the top than usual. Wait, what? What? It looked like they were behind barriers. That was so good. That was so good. Thank you so much, Patrick and Flora, for giving us this insight, all this info. I, for one, can't wait to play. I mean, that was a good bit of gameplay to show. I mean, that's cool. Before you take off, but that's okay. Uh, we'd like to answer a few fan questions. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Callum from the UK asks, uh, what has driven you the most in the direction of this game? Wow. Well, I'd say really there have been kind of three consistent ideas at the heart of Gotham Knights. Uh, first is having like a whole cast of playable characters that can continue to grow and reinvent themselves. Uh, second, a real living, breathing Gotham City that keeps challenging you, keeps serving up danger. Uh, and then finally, it's that fantasy of the superhero team up. And we wanted to be able to deliver that in co-op play. Okay, it's cool. Uh, uh, Alistair from Kenya asks, I'm hyped What goes that. into deciding which characters you are going to develop a game around? Well, we choose characters who resonate with players on a few different axes. We wanted heroes who embodied different aspects of the Bat family. 
the detective side as well as the fighter, the spirit of the underworld. I don't like that breakdancing thing. We it's like too cartoony. We offer players a unique starting point and then a long runway for growth. Ultimately, we wanted heroes that could take on the forces that threaten Gotham City, but it each so bringing their own unique perspective. Gotcha. Okay. I do like this green screen. Uh, now we have Riley from the United States. Homegrown, homegrown. Uh, Riley from the United States asks, could you give anything more on this uh, WB Games Montreal game? Any other little tidbits? We're actually sort of standing in it. Um, the Belfry will be a very important location in Gotham Knights. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep a few secrets. We're gonna have more to talk about later. So Robin can tell you this, teleporting, the and in the trailer they show him turn invisible. It's way bigger than just a part of us. Is Robin just going to be the best uh, Well, is there, is there anything else that you would like us to know? Well, our game is coming out in 2021, and we can't wait for everyone to play it. Thank you all for so that they weren't going to drop a more specific release. That That's what I thought she was about to do. Uh, everybody out there, I hope you've been enjoying DC Fandom. Continue to enjoy DC fandom i'm zachary levi love you sweet i mean that was cool that's what i wanted to see what are you guys' thoughts definitely let wow. me know in the comment section below and just discord the show's wow. your boy jet like one only Log honestly Peace. Check it out. i've been